my gosh. So I'm having a not so great day. Um, I'm coming off of a bad day. I, I get headaches really frequently. It's kind of annoying. Um, and I currently have a migraine. And yesterday I was a little disappointed. I had like a bad day. Well, I guess the past two days have been kind of bad. But yeah, it started off yesterday and they had just released a new Aurora pin. A Windows, a magic pin at the Disneyland Park. One of my YouTube subscribers offered to go and get it for me. And when she got there, they were already sold out. So I'm so bummed about that. I started my day off with that. Then I had a series of events happen throughout the day. Um, it culminated in yesterday was the last day to get a photo book ordered through Disney Photo Pass. They were um, moving over to a new website. And as of today, they are now on a new website system. And I literally spoke to three different supervisors on the phone about this leading up to the, the website change. I was trying to get a photo book ordered. I spoke to a supervisor two hours earlier. She told me I had a photo credit in my file, in my account, but that I only had until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to get my order in before the website would jump to the new system. I put the order, I worked on that book all day yesterday and I put the order in at 11 p.m. and the website switched over at that time, a whole hour early. So my photo book got lost. And I've been on the phone with them today trying to recover, see if there's anything to do, anything they can do to fix it. And they told me that there's a 2% chance of success that most likely my photo book is lost forever, that they're gonna re bring back the photo book back to their website in a couple of weeks, most likely, and then I can just start all over again. So that's kind of the two days that I've been having. I'm just like, I am not having luck with my Disney love right now, guys. I'm just, I'm, I'm a little bummed and I, I'm just in a Disney funk. So to get myself out of this, I decided to go ahead and go to Hot Topic and pick up the latest Disney Treasures box. So I'm hoping that this will be a nice pick-me-up because I need some Disney lovin' right now in the positive way. So, if you guys aren't familiar with Disney Treasures box is, I opened this up on my channel once before, but this is the most recent release. It's a Dumbo box. This one's kind of small, I have to say. I have the Disney Villains box. I still have it in my storage. Hold on, I'll show you. This is what the box looked like for the October release. I think it's actually September. In September, they came out with this Disney Treasures box, and it was a villain's box. It kind of looks like a big sh uh, shoe box, but you can see how big this is in comparison to the latest release, which is this tiny. And I know you shouldn't judge, judge a book by its cover, but when the box is a little bit smaller, it kind of makes you more concerned. That must mean that the Funko Pop that comes inside is not as big and substantial as my previous one, which was the Captain Hook, and I love that one. So I'm a little sad by that, however, I'm, ex I'm still excited to see what comes in here. And the box, per usual, tells you that there are six things included, including a coin purse, a pen, a Funko Pop. So I am interested in seeing what is in here. And let's go ahead and open and show you guys what you can get in the latest Disney Treasures box. Now, I mentioned this on my channel once before. This retails for $32.90 US dollars in the US. You can get this at any Hot Topic store while supplies last and you can also order it online i believe they had previous boxes online so go check out your local store or the website if you have a chance if you're interested in buying this box for yourself all the boxes are going to be the exact same so you're probably going to see a lot of unboxings in different people's channels and we all have the same items but i wanted to show you guys what came in it because i'm looking for a disney pick me up so like the disney um store whoopsie my heart happy valentine's day just fell but like the Disney stores released last year, um, month in January, because now we're in February, um, the theme for the new box is Dumbo. And you can see it's sort of like a circus theme with this Disney Dumbo across the front. You have a tent here. You have little Dumbo with the feather in his mouth and his nose. And by the way, I have my Dumbos behind me. And you have Timothy Mouse on the side of the box holding up his hat. So that's the design of the box. On the side you have like the shadowy figures just like the movie because the movie was made in the 40s and a lot of the people they never actually show the people in the movie you just see the the animals but the people are in like in shadow silhouettes and i love that effect so you are seeing the shadowy version of dumbo uh via the tent and then you have that again on the back so let's go ahead and see what comes inside of our latest box for those of you who are unaware, the Disney Treasures box used to be sold by Funko online, and it was a subscription box you could get every month, um, or every other month actually, and now it is released at Hot Topic. So you can just go in person, 
when you want, you're not locked into any subscription, and that way you can make the decision whether you want the box or not based on the current theme. I'm literally turning this box all the way around while trying to figure out how to open it. And it's just a flap in the front. Does anyone else feel like they're silly when they can't open a box? <laughs> it's just me. Um, also on the side does say Hot Topic exclusive. I don't know if I mentioned that before. But okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. You can see all of that stacked right there. I'm giving you guys the first look. And it looks like a nice little assortment of items. So the very first thing that I'm seeing is, I believe this is the coin purse. And this is really cute. The very first item is a peanut shaped coin purse. This is hilarious because I'm actually allergic to peanuts. As I hit my 30s, just before I hit my 30s a couple years ago, to give you a sense of my age, I became allergic to peanuts. My mother did the same thing when she turned 30, she became allergic to peanuts. And now, as of the past couple years, I am also allergic to peanuts. So this would actually kill me in real life. Well, I don't know if it would kill me, but I go into anaphylactic shock. Um, but what's cute about this is that it has the Dumbo uh, little on the zipper pouch. And you can open this up and you can put your coins inside. I don't know if I would use this because, like I said, peanuts have a weird relationship with me now because I just can't eat them. But this is the cutest little zipper pouch. I do like this little feature. And I might give this away in a future giveaway. I don't know. It's just something kind of cryptic or dangerous about having something that is allergic, that you're allergic to in real life as a coin purse. But this is really darling, adorable. That's my first item. My second item I'm seeing is a pen, and just like the past Hot Topic Disney Treasures boxes, they come with a little Funko theme pen, and this one is Dumbo related. You guys can see Dumbo right there. So, 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 so cute. Oh, I love that so much. And it's just Dumbo on a pop pen, and it says Disney Dumbo, and that's the pen. I have the, uh, Aladdin one from the last box and I love the little Jafar pen so my Dumbo pen will also be a nice addition to my pen collection which I have behind me. Boop. The next thing I see is Dumbo Cloud. It's so funny because I was just watching one of my friends um, her name is Disney Fan in Japan and she does a lot of videos showing what is in Japan that is Disney related and she's great. She's a new YouTuber, so go check her out her channel if you haven't seen it already. Uh, she's come to a bunch of my videos in the past and become friends. And I'm enjoying her content so far. It's really cool to see the inside look to Japanese Disney merch. And what she shows in her channel is the difference between the American and European versions of merchandise and how it is in the Japanese culture. And she had just showed that they had a couple of clown dumbos. And I commented on her video that I'm a little afraid of clown dumbo because... When I was little, I was afraid of clowns. I just was not a clown person. But I get it because it goes with the whole theme of Dumbo, and he is just like a clown in the movie. So this is a little baby Dumbo figurine where he is dressed like a clown. This is hilarious. But it's okay because it's not so clown-like that I can get away with this. But this is the little keychain. Oh my gosh, look how adorable that is. Little baby Dumbo with, again, with feather in his nose, in his trunk. And you can see the uh, orange hat. He's got like the clown uh, necktie thing going around his body right there. And it just looks really cute. And he's in the clown makeup because you can see the two, the two cheek makeup, um, the two cheek makeup, the two blush marks on his cheeks, which are painted in to look like a clown. So I think this is adorable. And then, and you can see this is the box that it came in. It said Dumbo Clown. And I have two more items in here, so I'm going to start with the Funko Pop that you guys have all been waiting to see. Here you go. It's Baby Dumbo! It's a really cute Hot Topic exclusive pop. They actually just came out with a new Dumbo Pop today, February 1st, as I'm filming. When I went to go pick this up, they had it in the store, but because I knew there was going to be a Dumbo Funko Pop in this box, I decided to hold off and see if I want to go back, but that one looks gorgeous if you're into Funko collecting. But this is the baby demo that came in the box, and I will go ahead and open this so you guys can get a better look. That is what he looks like right there. Ah, the ear span alone is just darling. This is what Dumbo is all about with his giant, giant ears. 
Okay, this is making me feel a little bit better. I, this is why I wanted to open this today because I was feeling cruddy and you just need a little fun and cuteness in your life and this is adorable. Okay, I have one last item in this box and it is a tin. So this is one of like those mystery mini tins. It says vinyl figure and usually what happens is they come in a bag within the tin. So let's see if that's the case this time. Sorry, the camera moved, my son is moving it. But once again, it says Hot Topic exclusive on the bottom of the tin and it's sealed in plastic. So let's go ahead and see what is in here. So I just opened up the tin and this is the beautiful design with a train going all around. It's Casey Jr. the train. And if you ever go to Disneyland, you'll see the actual ride in the uh, Fantasyland area. Casey Jr.'s going round the track. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Mystery pouch. Okay, so let's see what's inside. I did not look online because I didn't want to give myself spoilers as to what was in here. So I have no idea. Timothy Mouse, maybe? That would be my guess since it's all Dumbo related. <gasps> and it is! It is Timothy Mouse related! Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Okay, so it's a little vinyl figure of Timothy Mouse, which will go great with the Funko pop version of Dumbo. I love this box so much. This just brought me so much happiness to go with the Dumbo theme. To go with the dum to go with the Dumbo theme. I cannot say that without enunciating. Um but I love this so much. Guys, I was just looking at my box again and editing and I missed an item. I said at the beginning of the video that there were six items included. My son keeps moving the camera, but there were supposed to be six items included in your box. And I was missing one. There was an item that fell out at the beginning of my filming. I thought I had dropped something, and I did. And it was a pin! There's also a pin that comes in this month's box. I almost missed it. I can't believe. This is why you always should look at your contents. Make sure you're not missing anything. Oh my gosh! It's so cool! It's Dumbo in a bath of water. So this also came in the box. It is a Dumbo pin. And this alone just made this box like 10 times worth the value to me because I am amassing a little Dumbo pin collection. So Dumbo in a bath full of bubbles and he's looking oh so cute. Again, baby Dumbo. They're all into baby Dumbo in this box. I love it so much and the pin and the Funko made the box for me. Okay, so that is everything that came with my Dumbo box from Hot Topic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Would you get this for yourself? Again, the price is about $33.00 plus tax, so it's not the cheapest box in the world, but you have to figure that the Bunko Pops, the big giant Dumbo, at least would be $15 retail, and then you're getting $15 worth of goods, hopefully, for the rest of the box. So I enjoyed that. I enjoyed opening it up and seeing what was inside. Hopefully you guys did too. And leave me a comment below if you had gotten this Dumbo box for yourself or previous Disney treasure boxes, because I'm always curious to know if everyone else is enjoying these subscription boxes or Disney mystery boxes just as much as myself. All right, that's it for today. I will be following this up shortly with my Disney subscription box review. I am currently editing that. It's been taking a while to get that all together for you, but if you're interested in knowing about all the different Disney subscription boxes out there and the ones that I've tried, and it's 11 boxes total, then stay tuned for that video, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Please do subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss a single video in the future, and I'll talk to you guys all soon. Bye!